Hey, what's up everyone? This is Steven. Today's tutorial is going to be on making a movie-like effect, I guess it could be called. We're going to start off with this image, and ho hopefully in the end it will look like this. And you can see it kind of focuses more on uh, the center part of the image than the original did. So you'll see how we did that, and um, let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to take this image and let me open it up in Photoshop alright now I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'm going to start off by going to hue and saturation I'm going to do this by clicking control U and here I'm going to bring down the saturation to let's try less than 49. I still want to see the green in his uniform. So we'll go 40. Okay. So now we're going to come on over to image adjustments exposure. And I'm going to put one up here. And then here this one's a little bit tricky. Just so we get the correct look that I'm going for. Um, this is going to vary from image to image, so just get something that looks good, and, uh, let's see, I don't want to go too dark, I'm going to go ahead and go with that, okay, so now we're going to create the uh, depth of field type, type look that it had, so I'm going to open up this, the layers panel, and drag this over to duplicate the layer and then I'm going to come on over to filter blur lens blur wow let me see if I can scale this down a bit sorry about that and let's see that's all it's gonna give me okay all that matters is this side I guess and the settings I'm going to put is more accurate and then have this on 9 14 58 7 and 213 and it's going to be on uniform don't know how much of that I originally changed um, so just you can try this out and I'm just going for a just a pretty good blur and then click on OK. And then I'm going to make a layer mask. Make sure I have black on top. All the way black. OK. And then select this layer mask. And then I'm going to make a big brush just to center the parts of the image that I want. I'm going to hide this layers. And I want to get his head and his gun and possibly that first bullet. So. I can go a little bit bigger, I guess. That's probably good. Okay. You can see that got rid of the blur on those parts, on whatever the brush was, you know, whatever it painted on the brush. You can see it there. And then, <coughs> sorry, we are going to come on up down here and make a new layer. And I'm going to make sure black is on the foreground. Alt backspace and then I'm going to make this opacity to about 70 percent and then come on over to the brush tool let me hide this so you can see and we're going to, going to erase about the same amount that we erased or we made the black circle on so probably about there maybe a little less I'll stick with that. Erase that. And then I'm going to flatten this image so we can edit all of these. So I'm going to do this by coming over to here and down to flatten image. You can't see all of the, all of the words, but here maybe if I do this and then flatten image. Okay. And bring that back. And I'm going to add a little bit of noise to this layer. <coughs> and I'm going to do this by going to filter noise add noise and I'm gonna have this on uniform 
and 4.5 and you can see the look that it's getting if I drag this out of the way and again depending on your image you you might have to change this or what you're going whatever look you're going after all right and that's pretty much all of it but I'm going to give it that blue tint if you look at this image it has a very cool blue tint I think and I'm going to do this by coming over here and clicking control B which is the color balance and then or I'm gonna drag this over here to let's see on the midtones I'm on right now I'm probably gonna go 16 then come over to shadows and let's see what that looks like and then let's check out highlights let me come down back to midtones let me lighten this up a bit okay and that's it for now you can stop with this and I think this looks pretty nice but you can go ahead and make it look more like a movie by making a new layer take this marquee tool and let's select and give it that border so I'm going to select about that much select inver inverse and then alt backspace and then deselect and it looks like a frame from a movie and that's it for this tutorial thanks again for watching and if you have anything you want me to do a tutorial on just post in as a comment in this video or any of my other videos and I'll try to get it out as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.